Good day everyone. I am Captain Ron Irani. In this video, I will be explaining the solution to the problem number 9 on free surface effect from exercise 10 in Captain Subramanian's textbook Ship Stability 1. The problem states a vessel has two deep tanks, port and starboard, each 12 meters long, 5 meters wide and 8 meters deep. The port side is full of salt water while the starboard side is empty. Displacement is given as 9840 metric tons, KM at 8.5 meters and KG at 8 meters. We have to calculate the GM fluid if salt water is transferred from port to starboard until each tank has equal quantity of ballast. So, I have drawn the picture given the data. We have two deep tanks on the port side and starboard side. The port tank is full. Its dimensions are 12 meters long, 5 meters wide and 8 meters deep. Now half this tank is transferred, the salt water ballast is transferred from port side to starboard side. In the initial condition, the port side tank is full and hence no free surface effect is applicable and the starboard side tank is, also, is empty and hence no free surface effect is applicable. But now, after the transfer, of half the salt water ballast from port side to starboard side, both tanks have become slack. So we have to bear this in mind when we are calculating the free surface effect and the final GM fluid. Going on to the next slide, we have the capacity of the deep tank on port side is equal to length into breadth into height multiplied by the excuse me, I'm sorry capacity of the deep tank on the port side is 12 into 5 into 8 into the relative density of the salt water which is working out to 492 metric tons. Please note that, it, that the capacity of the deep tank on the starboard side is also the same. Now half the amount of ballast in the port side tank will be transferred to the starboard side. So half of 492 is equal to 246. That is the mass of the salt water ballast that will be transferred to the starboard deep tank. After this transfer takes place, both port and starboard tanks become slack. So calculating the free surface correction for the tank on the port side, we have moment of inertia multiplied by the density of the water in the tank divided by the displacement. And we know the formula for moment of inertia is equal to length into the cube of the breadth of the tank divided by 12 and that is multiplied by density of the liquid in the tank which is salt water divided by the displacement of the ship. Thus when we substitute all the values we have length of the tank is 12, breadth of the tank is 5 and the cube of that 5 cube multiplied by the density of the liquid in the tank 1.025 and in the denominator we have 12 multiplied by 9840, 9840 being the displacement of the ship. Thus the free surface correction for the port side tank is 0 0.013 meters. Now since both port and starboard tanks are identical, we can simply multiply this free surface correction for the port tank by 2 and we get the total free surface correction for port and starboard tanks equal to 0 0.026 meters. Now the, in the next step we have to calculate the new kg of the ship. 
to calculate the new kg of the ship, we make three columns, displacement, kg, and vertical moments. Displacement is 9840. The kg of the ship is given as 4 meters, and vertical moments, when you multiply 9840 by 8, we get 78720. 246 tons of the salt water ballast are transferred. We put this into bracket to indicate that we are not supposed to add or subtract. And the kg, the vertical distance through which this salt water ballast will be transferred is equal to 4 meters. And how do we get that? Let us go back to the previous slide. The colorful part the rainbow colored part is half the mass of the ballast that is there in the port side tank. This mass of salt water is to be transferred from the port to the starboard deep tank. The center of gravity of this mass is at 6 meters from the keel. 4 meters is the height of the ballast that is going to remain within the tank on the port side and 2 meters from this base is the center of gravity of the mass of the salt water that is going to be transferred. Thus, in effect, the center of gravity of this mass of salt water that is to be transferred is 4 meters plus 2 meters giving 6 meters. And when it goes to the starboard side, when it is transferred to the starboard side, its height is 4 meters and its center of gravity on the starboard side will be 2 meters from the keel. Thus, its vertical distance from which it is transferred is 6 meters minus 2 meters is equal to 4 meters. And that is what we are using in this problem over here. This is the 4 meters, that is 6 meters minus 2 meters. Now 4 meters multiplied by 246 gives us 984 vertical moments, ton meters. And we have to apply the negative sign because the weight is shifted downwards. Thus we have the final displacement equal to 9840 metric tons and the final V moments, vertical moments, equal to 7.7736 ton meters. When we divide the vertical moments by the final displacement, we get the new kg, or the final kg, equal to 7.900 meters. Given to us in the problem, km is equal to 8.5 meters, from that, we subtract the value of the kg that we have calculated above, 7.900 meters, and we get gm solid equal to 0 0.600 meters. Free surface correction we have calculated over here equal to 0 0.026 meters, which we subtract from gm solid, and thus we get gm fluid equal to 0 0.574 meters. Thank you very much for your kind attention and hope that you have understood the solution of the problem. Do give me a thumbs up, like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and goodbye.